general uh, world, when you talk generalizations, you say I'm a scientist, normally we avoid generalization, good, bad and indifferent. There are very good examples of the forest being maintained extremely well. Canada is a good example, which is maintaining well. Uh, there are areas where uh, Indonesia is one where a lot of forests have gone due to commercial greed. So either commercial greed, either the need of the poor or the greed of the rich, both have ravaged the forest. Hmm? Sometimes the genuine needs of the poor, but more importantly, the greed of the rich in terms of mining. Unfortunately, forests are also areas where there are mines for minerals like iron, manganese and so on. So for a variety of reasons, I would simply say it's a greed revolution in the world, a greed revolution in the world, which has led to the devastation of forests. But earlier, immediately after World War II, there was also the problem of forests being lost to annual crops, agriculture, because great famines which took place in China, India, Bengal famine, they all made the governments give high priority to food production. So there was an area expansion in the in the forest. It was at the expense of the forest. That is why we call the Green Revolution as a forest saving agriculture. And how would you assess the state of the environment and environmental politics in India at the moment? It's been fascinating for people coming here who aren't perhaps that close to Indian politics to pick up the Times of India, the Hindu, the Economic Times every morning. And every day there seems to be a story about the battle between the development and the environmental sector. So how would you um, ass assess that particular situation? So the controversy between environment and development is a very spurious one. It only applies to the very greedy and rich people, not to the poor. For all, the all ordinary inhabitants, the forests are very important as a source of livelihood, the hydrologic cycle, their water, their fodder, their fuel wood. Everything depends on the forests. And therefore, there are two groups of people. The ones for whom forest is a source of money making, either because of mining, either because of deforestation and selling the woods and so on. So we have to curb the greed of the rich that is where regulation is necessary. The three requirements for saving forests are education, social mobilization, like what we had called Chipko Andalon. The women organized themselves. Anybody come to cut, you say you cut me first before you cut the tree. So social mobilization and finally regulation. Regulation alone won't help. Social mobilization against indiscriminate uh, damage to forests and above all education. All the three are important. Final question, because I know you're in a rush, but what, what are your thoughts on this new, um, it looks like a national investment board that could be pushed through, which could streamline development and push aside environmental regulations. It seems fascinating that this is happening in India, where development is right at the heart of, of, heart of strategies. We will not agree to it, because fortunately in India, it's a, our legal system is very strong in protecting the environment. In fact, for the last 30, 40 years, I must give a credit to our Supreme Court, the Green Benches, for coming in the way of destruction of forests. Today, in a democratic difference between the democratic society, here anybody can go to a court and give what we call public interest litigation. If you are cutting my forest and you are going to create more floods or more problems for me, I can go to court. Many of the wrong actions of government have been stopped by legally. Therefore, we have a legal redress. We have to have an educational redress. And above all, uh, we must have a strong commitment of uh, the political leadership. The political leadership, the scientific know-how, the political do-how, and the people's participation. All the three are important. And uh, I'm, I'm seeing gradual emergence, because what has been shown now is many of these wrong acts of destroying environment is also associated with uh, greed and uh, making money uh, and which uh, does not belong to what we call scams and so on. Therefore, I am confident that uh, people, will, those who have tried to destroy, and I always say, you know, you have a saying called, uh, God, uh, forgive them because they know not what they do. I, my prayer is, God, just do not forgive them because they know what they do. So that is the approach of our courts.